Hello, my name is Roshanda Atchison. I am a native Houstonian. In 2017, I attended a conference uh, with Gertrude. That conference was life changing. When I decided I was invited to come to a conference, to the conference by a friend, I stepped out on faith and I decided that I needed and I was seeking something different. I needed to um, be motivated. I had reached a time in my life where uh, I didn't understand what my uh, marching orders were. I didn't understand what my di uh, next direction was. I didn't understand what was going on with my life. And one of the reasons why I didn't understand was because I had been married for 13 years. I was in a relationship, um, a marriage for 13 years, where I doubted whether I was truly loved. I doubted whether the person appreciated my value. Prior to going into that marriage, I doubted myself. I didn't believe that I was uh, worthy. I didn't believe that my life had value and purpose. I'd always suffered from low self-esteem and um, just rejection. So I stayed in this marriage for 13 years because I felt like I couldn't do anything, I couldn't do better. Um, it was around the time when I was invited to the conference when I had, um, as I stated, I was, re I had, uh, my divorce was final and I was just really searching for something. I had an emptiness in me that I felt I needed to find out what can fill that void. So I went to the conference, I stepped out in faith, I went to the conference and it, as I stated, it was life changing. I had an opportunity uh, before I spoke at the conference to really dig deep and, and uh, search out some things about myself. Once I got to the conference, listening to all of the speakers and also um, contemplating what I was gonna talk about, I had an opportunity to really see myself. I had an opportunity to really uh, look at uh, the fact that I did have value, that my life had value, that my life had purpose. And I, it was at that conference that I got a revelation that I am here on this earth for a purpose and for a reason. Being around all of the women and hearing their story and being able to tell my story, it changed my life. I left Houston sad, feeling rejected, not knowing my purpose, not knowing my worth, and not knowing that my life had meaning. And after attending the conference, and after leaving New Mexico, I came back to Texas a new person. I came back to Texas a person who had direction, a person who understood that there is purpose to my life, a person that understood that there is a reason for my breath. There is a reason why my heart beat. And that reason is to be light and to be loved and to touch lives of other people by sharing my testimony and also letting them know that not only am I loved, but they're loved. Not only do my life has purpose, but their life has purpose and their life has meaning. And I'm so glad that I attended the conference. As I said, I came back a totally different person. When I came back, I was able to finish my book. My book is called Get Up and Live, because that's exactly what I did. After leaving New Mexico and coming back, I was able to truly get up and live my life. Get up and pour out everything that has been poured inside of me. Get up and live my purpose, walk in my purpose, and also to help others seek out and find their purpose. Help others to get up out of whatever situation that they find themselves in and live their best life. Live a life of purpose, a life of meaning, and a life that impacts other lives. A life that makes this world better because they lived, because they breathed, and because they got up and lived. So I am looking forward to um, what we're going to do with this conference. I know that it will truly be life changing for so many people. I know that it will have an impact on the lives of so many people. 
So I am so excited to be a part of this because it was in conferences just like this where I was able to find myself and to love myself and to understand that I have value and meaning. And also now I am making an impact in other lives and I am making an impact in generations to come. And that's what it means to, to live. That's what it means to walk in your purpose. And that's what it means to leave a legacy, not just for your children, but other people's children and their children. That's what it means to show up in life. And uh, I wanna thank um, Gertrude for having me and also considering me for this opportunity. And I am so ready to make history with Gertrude and her story.